And the voice of the Lord came to my ears, saying, Whom am I to send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. The kingdom of God is in the heart of man. It is the scene of the final battle. Yahweh, through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ, fights for souls like yours and people just like you. There are two basic callings in life concerning the gospel, those who are called to go and those who send. I want to share with you what God has allowed me to do for him. On this adventure of being an ambassador of Jesus Christ, it hasn't been a matter of, oh, I have to, but oh, that I get to. We read in 1 Corinthians 4, 7, for what makes you different? And what do you have that you did not receive? But if you did receive it, why do you boast as if you have not received it? So all glory and honor goes to Yahweh and Yeshua, God and Jesus Christ, for permitting me to do these things and accomplish these things for the kingdom of heaven. So with that being said, here's our ministry. The Lord said to the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. The postcard outreach was started after listening to Arthur Blessett talk about how he walked the cross around the world and that he found the world hungry for Jesus. God put it on my heart and gave me this great idea. What I'd do is go out into the parking lots, drive throughs and stores, and hand out the gospel postcards. God has allowed me to personally touch well over 4,000 people with the gospel postcards. And I can tell you the world is hungry for Jesus, and at the very least willing to have the discussion. We have also given out 6,000 more postcards to other groups and peoples, so they can also hand them out. We made these banner stands to set along the road to have people stop and receive prayer and the gospel. Here we are at the swap meet handing out postcards. I believe on this day, if my memory serves me correctly, that we handed out over 600 gospel tracts. Now I want to share this video of a man named Pops after we prayed for him. I'm Pops. I met these folks out here today. Uh, They prayed for me and and I feel better. Praise God. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound, you know, that saved a rich like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. You know, when we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, you know, with no less days to see this man's praise when then we first. So when I was handing out gospel tracts, I got security swatted in a parking lot telling me I couldn't hand out gospel tracts there. So God gave me this idea of these lanyards. They can't tell me I can't wear them, and I've had so many great conversations because of them, and I've also been greatly blessed. They're a great witness, so now I wear them whenever I'm in public. In Deuteronomy 11, we are instructed to put God's law upon our doorposts and our gates. We thought this would be a wonderful witness to those who come to our house. So these are baptismal certificates that are for a future outreach. Following the example of Acts 8.36, the plan is to go to the lakes and share the gospel and baptize people the same day after some instructions then provide connections for future discipleship. I'm very excited to do this.
My friend has a ministry feeding the homeless downtown. Periodically, we go down and hand out Bibles and gospel tracts. And my family and friends at another church got to make care packages to hand out. So far, I have been blessed to hold two different meetings sharing resource packets with fellow like-minded believers about how to spread the gospel and do street ministry. I absolutely love music. I've been a part of three different Christian groups, a men's group, a rap group, and a rock group. Here's a sample of the music outreach. Lust, it's all about trust. I move my body just to praise the king. This given new life made all things right and deserves every ounce of my spiritual being. Exaltation and glorious honor. I do this dance just to praise my father. Spin around for you, my daddy, and lift my arms up for you to grab me. God impressed the need upon my heart to start this car graphics outreach to share the truth of Jesus. I like to call it ministry by the mile. It provides for a wide range of reactions for sure. God also has given me the opportunity to do prayer rides with my motorcycle, kind of in the vein of Abraham. I pray for the places I pass and stand in the gap for the town and people, claiming it all for the kingdom of God. So this might come as a surprise to you. We're talking about deliverance ministry. There's a lot of deliverance ministry theory out there, but there's not a lot of people who've actually confronted a demon in Jesus' name. Believe me, it is real. I grew up in demonized houses. And in the deliverance ministry, I've been allowed to do 14 deliverances, a handful of house clearings, and I've seen things that most people would never believe. So now I want to share with you the deliverance of Dylan to show you the awesome power of Jesus' name. Now, please note that when people are being delivered, they do not have to be allowed to be flopping around on the floor and foaming at the mouth. You have the authority in the name of Jesus to prevent that. So please do so. Here is a look at the deliverance ministry. You came here for help in Jesus Christ's name. You have to leave immediately. Now go, by the blood of Jesus Christ, go. In Jesus Christ's name, I rebuke you and bind you up from acting physically. I command you to Come leave on. now by the blood of Jesus Christ. You cannot hurt me. You cannot resist against me. Now leave. In Jesus Christ's name, I command you to leave. Or I bind you. I already said you cannot call for any reinforcements. You must leave them now immediately. But you are isolated. They did. It don't matter. They could have been there. But now you must leave. In Jesus Christ's name, just like the other ones left. You are defeated at the cross. Confess, I was defeated at the cross. I, I was defeated at the cross. I was defeated at the cross. I was defeated at the cross. And I must obey. Must obey, because God of heaven and earth, because God of heaven and earth has given authority, has given authority to His children, to His children to cast out demons, to cast out demons. So I must leave now. So I must leave now. Now leave in Jesus Christ's name. Go. <laughs> you have to leave. I rebuke any spirits of mockery, any spirits of subjection, any spirits of fear, any associated spirits, any control spirits, any so spirits associated with helping the other spirits out. I rebuke any reinforcements now by the blood of Jesus Christ and command you to leave now. You must go. By the blood of Jesus Christ, go. <laughs> you must leave now. In Jesus Christ's name, I command you to leave immediately. Now go. You cannot act nor react. You cannot move around. You cannot hurt Dylan. You cannot hurt me. We are the children of God. Dear me, Father, have your holy angels draw their swords upon these demons now. Pick them out and escort them out of this place, and I cast you now to the abyss. You must leave now by the blood of Jesus Christ. You must go. Go now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's funny. Why is it funny? Because you're trying to get them out. You're trying to get all of them out. Because they're leaving by the blood of Jesus Christ. Dylan, I want to talk to you. Dylan, I want to talk to you. Come forward now. <laughs> Dylan, speak. I don't know. They're trying to stall. Is there anything you haven't told me? Any sin that you've kept hidden? You must go now. Any spirit of occultism, I command you to leave. Any spirit of witchcraft or any religion, 
Stop. I command you to not touch me. In the name of Jesus Christ, you must sit still. You cannot stay. Now leave him immediately by the blood of Jesus Christ. Go. In Jesus Christ's name, I command you to leave instantly. Go. Now, by the blood of Jesus Christ, go. Where are you feeling, Dylan? I don't know. Well, I mean, I knew my arms were moving, but I didn't say in my mind to grab him, like try to get off me. Yeah. It's like I'm seeing all the stuff just leaving. Really? Praise the Lord. They're crazy. Praise Jesus. <laughs> So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now the website is not complete, it's still under construction, but the manuscript is finished and God put it on my heart to give it away for free. He asked me what would have happened if Paul would have charged for the book of Romans. Now it is not on the same level as the Bible of course, but it is written in the same spirit. It is biblically accurate and I cannot wait for you to read it. Last year I completed a complete chronological comparison of the Gospels of Jesus. We have yet to utilize this work for outreach, but be on the lookout. The time is coming soon. On top of that, I've been working on another fictional manuscript. I'm about 50,000 words into it. It's about a boy in spiritual warfare, about how he's overcoming his past to walk forward in the power of God. Now I'm going to give you a sneak peek at the Christian board game in development. It's about 75% complete. Obviously, I can't give away too much. But it is a game to teach spiritual warfare, utilizing dice and cards. The fictional book and board game have the same name as they complement each other. So with all these short-term and long-term goals, you might be asking yourself, how do I keep track of everything that's going on? And I'm glad you asked. Here's a preview for BrotherLance.com. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? How will they believe in him when they have not heard? How will they hear without a preacher? How will they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news of peace.
who bring glad tidings of good things. We will be posting Bible teachings and sermons and various other content on at least two social media platforms. As you can tell, we'll be posting videos on this social media outlet. Here's a preview of the videos to come. So please forgive my gibberish spelling. As it stands now, we have over 80 shows planned, broken up into distinct categories. Let's go ahead and open up the Tricks of the Devil folder. Here you could see the rundown of future shows. Let's go ahead and open up the entertainment file. Here you can see the breakdown of the teaching you'll soon be seeing. Hit pause if you want to see what's coming. So there you go. There are some awesome videos coming very, very soon. The goal is to release all videos as podcasts as well, plus specific podcast content. Here's a sample of a podcast. So what's the goal here? Forget the numbers game, forget the fear, forget the exaltation, forget the big plans, forget the mega ministry, forget everything. Forget about worrying about building up your church here right now. Do nothing but be faithful. Go out and be faithful. It's going to happen. So the thing is, is just go out there, do what God has called you to do. It's going to work out because that's part of the process. But if we take over the part that God is supposed to be taking care of, we're exalting ourselves again. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest indeed is plentiful. But the laborers are few. Pray, therefore, that the Lord of the harvest will send out laborers into his harvest. What is plus? Basically, it's everything else that's being accomplished right now and more about my history. We are currently holding a Monday night Bible study. I've been a youth minister for two different churches, one of which we had an extreme sports outreach. We've been able to partner with uh, ministries that would go to juvenile detention centers and talk to the youth there. Also, when invited, I go to churches and speak. We live in a very politically correct society where we're not supposed to tell anybody that, hey, you're wrong. But when Jesus Christ himself tells you to go preach the gospel, that he's the son of God, that there's only one way through heaven, and it's through him, you're bound to offend people. If they, if they don't back up this book, 100%, if they don't come in and say, let's say if the Lord is right, if they don't come in and say, we're, you know, every word is true, every word is correct, every word represents exactly what God intended to represent it. We're a quick people. God created the whole entire universe. There's one book that tells us of his love and glory that he gave to us by the prophets and the patriarchs and the apostles, right? How hard is it for God to get this right? He holds all things together. This book has been sufficient for over 2,000 years completed. Amen. It doesn't need any adaptations or changes. It doesn't need updating. It doesn't need a new theology. It doesn't need a new way to read it. There's people that directly spoke with Jesus, directly spoke, you know, by God, through God, you know, for God, who wrote it down exactly as God would. If you want to undermine God's power and say God couldn't prevent people from being deceived, you don't believe in the same God I do. Because he can. He's all-powerful. Satan does not have more power than God. Satan is not God's equal. They're not even on the same playing field. Satan is not going to prevent God from getting to his people, period. God is ultimate. God is pure. It's amazing to me that God allows people like me and you to partner with him in the spreading of the gospel. Our righteousness is like filthy rags, and nothing we do can compare to his holiness. It amazes me and I give God praise for allowing me to do the things that we do here. I could not do it without the power of the Holy Spirit and all glory and honor and praise should go to Him. Without a doubt, praise God. I also would like to thank my wife. 
She is a godly woman, and her unfailing support is what makes all this possible. I could have not done it without her, and she has her hand in everything that is accomplished here. And beyond that, she is a wonderful and awesome mother. So with that being said, I have two more things to share with you to show you the awesomeness of God. I really need to make a video of all the miracles that God has performed in my life. From healings, to deliverances, to controlling the weather, to resurrecting my son. But I picked these two specifically for now. After studying altars in the Bible, I made this one in my front yard. It's called Yahweh Hu Elohim Bethel. It means Yahweh is God of this house of God. On the day it was finished, I was cleaning it from all the dirt, and my daughter asked to help, but I told her I had to do it alone. Moments later, as soon as it was all the way clean, the earth quaked. I went online, and it said the earthquake was 1.3 miles from my house. Praise God. As you might know, this is statistically a bullseye as the location is triangulated. And our final example is a video. There was a bad storm raging all around us, and we prayed that God would protect us from the weather. So I had to run down and get the trash can before the wind blew it over. And then this happened. Yes, to us there is one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we for him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and we live through him. Thank you for taking the time to see what God is doing with this ministry. We joyfully extend to you the opportunity to partner with us. In God's economy, the stock market always goes up. If you would like to partner with us, please see the link below. Above all else, we ask that you pray for us. And thank you so much for sharing these videos with your friends and your family. Together we can influence the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Burn bright, brothers and sisters, or be no light at all.